Hi, this is me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part three in a series I'm doing for beginners. If you haven't watched the other ones, uh, I've had a couple people over the last few weeks ask me where to start on my videos, and I've really never done a true beginner. So we've already talked about the toolbars and the all the tools, and then we're going to talk about the toolbox, which is your tools on the left side of the page. So the first one is the pick tool. The pick tool, you just click on an item. I've got the toolbox separated. Or you can cursor around it and select it all or use some people call it a lasso tool to grab it all. Whenever you see an arrow, a downward arrow, that means there's a drop down menu. There's actually a tool called the freehand pick tool where you can hold down your mouse and it really helps you sometime in type situations just to do that. With that said, while we're here, all you have to do is click on an item. And because I have treat as field, but a lot of times you can use the alt button and just select everything. You don't have to touch the whole thing. The next tool down is your shape tool. It's a very important tool. Let's just draw a rectangle or a square we're gonna turn the rectangle into a, into a curve, and we're gonna grab our shape tool, and our shape tool can move nodes around. And when you open the shape tool, you get nodes. You can select two of them and add nodes. You can take away nodes. There's a lot you can do with this. We can I can double click and make a note. I can right click and turn it into a line. I can right click and turn it into a curve again, where I can curve it. I can right click and turn it in. Let's right click and turn it into a cusp. A cusp is where you can take one handle and not move the other handle. So that's the shape tool. Inside the shape tool is the smoothing tool in X8 and above. It's, it's a really cool tool. Um, let's make it really big and you can smooth out stuff with the smoothing tool. But if you don't have 8X and above, you don't have that tool. The next one is a spear, twirl, attract and repel, smudge and roughen. They pretty much do what they say they do. If we wanna click on an item and twirl it, that's the twirl tool. If we wanna smear it, we smear it. Almost the same thing with Attract and repel, and then smudge, you're just going to be able to make the lines uh, smudged up. Not very useful for laser engravers. And then the next one is the roughing tool, where you can actually rough up a line. So that's the shape tool and the shape tool fly out. Whoop. Sorry about that, I don't know how I did that. So let's just select all this and get rid of that. I'm just hitting delete. The next is your crop tool. Pretty useful. If you have a subject and you wanna crop out part of it, the one thing you need to remember when you're using the crop tool is that if you don't have it selected, your item selected, everything else on the table is gonna fall away or move away. So we got the O selected, we're gonna crop that part and we're gonna hit crop. We cropped out part of the O. Everything else stayed the same. Let's back up here. This time, let's don't have that selected. Let's grab the top crop tool and crop and crop and you see everything on your page disappeared. Now I'm using the backup button or undo button to bring it back. So that's your crop tool. The next is your knife tool. And I'm not really gonna go over that. It's not that important of a tool or I don't use it that much. There is, there is reasons for it, but I might go over it and I'm trying to make this video a little bit shorter. One of my favorite tools is the virtual segment delete key, which is underneath the crop tool. And what it's good for, if you draw a line and you only want this side of the box, you can take your virtual segment delete key and delete that side of the box. 
If that line's too long, you can delete that line. So a line is gonna stop the virtual delete key from cutting. Even an indexing line will stop it. And I can just hit that line or I can cursor through and hit everything. That's the virtual segment delete key and it's very important. The eraser is not that big a deal because it doesn't really work all the time on everything. And it's, it's not really that important, but there is the eraser tool. The next is your zoom tool or your magnifying glass. And you've got a drop down and you've got a zoom tool so you can zoom in and you can also hit the pan tool. The pan tool helps you move around. So if you're working on something and you just wanna move it around while it's zoomed in, we're not doing anything but moving it around. So that's your pan tool. One of the most favorite tools of mine is the Smart Fill tool. Yours are probably gonna be down here. I've moved mine up here because I use it so much. If I want to create a new shape, and let's just create a new shape by going here, and I'm gonna use a tool we're gonna to talk about later called the Weld tool. I can use my Smart Fill tool to fill that in. And I've created a new shape. So then I can left click, right click, and I'm good to go. So we've gotten through five of the tools. So maybe stay, I'm trying to keep it short. So maybe stay tuned for part four. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.